Okay, folks. Welcome to Dance's Daily Diary. And today we're gonna do the second part of our Toronto tour. All right, let's go, folks. Okay, folks, so there are things that uh, Toronto is known for. Toronto is known for being a Canadian metropolis with towering buildings, bustling streets, and the famous waterfront skyline. Of course, it's dominated by the CN Tower, but that's not all. It is also an essential stop on any North American travel itinerary. Toronto is also known for its ethnic and cultural diversity, its world-famous professional sports teams, and its competitive universities. Toronto is known as the place that students and expats from around the world love to call home. This is a multicultural city of opportunity, and you know some of the highlights here in the metropolis are the Royal Ontario Museum, the uh, Distillery District, uh, St. Lawrence Market, Kensington Markets, and of course, shopping malls and uh, universities. We also have beaches here in Toronto, the, uh, the CN Tower, and of course, not to miss, Canada's Wonderland. Now, if you're a fan of baseball, we have a team here that's called Toronto Blue Jays and they play here this is their home court it's rogers center this rogers center is the home of the toronto blue jays and at first it was uh, originally sky dome and uh, the stadium was renamed rogers center following the 2005 purchase of the stadium by rogers communication which also owns the uh, toronto blue jays we're gonna go check not much people in here now. The weather is nice though. And of course, this is uh, Ted Rogers. Um, Ted Rogers, just to give you a brief uh, history of uh, what he is, his name is Edward Samuel Rogers Jr. and he was born on May 1933. He was the founder of Rogers Communication and the president and CEO of the company as well. He died on December 2, 2008 at age 75 and his uh, resting place is in Mount Pleasant. This is the home of the Toronto Blue Jays, Canada's number one baseball team, back-to-back -back champion 1992 and 1993. The one that you are seeing there is the Roundhouse. The Roundhouse is a park. It's a 17-acre park in downtown Toronto. That's about 6.9 hectares in the former railway land. 
Okay, folks. So it is the uh, Toronto Railway Museum. It's a historical place and it was established in 2001 and is now incorporated as uh, a federally registered charity. The museum opened on May 28, 2010 and it's operating all year round. So the park contains four full-size locomotives, three freight cars, two passenger cars, and one diesel multiple unit. Now that's the Ripley's of Canada Aquarium, and I have a separate vlog on that one, so I want you to watch my vlog, particularly on the CN Tower and the Ripley's Aquarium. Okay folks, let's go walk furthermore. Check out some more places in the area. Wow, look at that. So folks, once you come to this place, you're gonna hit everything. You're gonna hit the CN Tower. You can even go to Toronto Blue Jays and you can even hit the Scotia Arena, which we're going there right now. That's where Toronto Raptors play. That's their home court. And also you can hit the Metro Toronto Convention Center, which is this one. Okay, the Metro Toronto Convention Center has about 700,000 square feet or it's about 65,000 square meter of space and it's the home to at least about uh, 1,232 seat Jean Bassett Theater and also this uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center is a highlight here in the uh, Metropolitan Toronto because it plays a very very important role in hosting some events this Metro Toronto Convention Center has hosted many large-scale events over the years such as the G20 summit it was held at the center on June 26 and 27 2010 it was the same venue for the 14th G7 summit held in 1988 the uh, 1985 NHL entry draft was held at the center as well and also it is home for the Canadian International Auto Show. It's also used on Hollywood backdrop movies and also the uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center is the venue for audition on the show So You Think You Can Dance Canada and the Canadian Idol. It's also the site of numerous political conventions. Okay, folks, so this is the nearest I can get to the Metro Toronto Convention Center. It's stunning. It's nice. Look at that uh, CN Tower. Let's zoom the uh, second deck. Okay, that's the observation tower on the second uh, dome but very limited people can go up there because it's just a small place compared to the first dome which contains the restaurant okay now we're gonna go and check the uh, union station now this union station is the main station that connects every point of destination and from here you can see the uh, scotia bank arena and that's the home of the very famous Canadian basketball team, the uh, Toronto Raptors. But that's the rear side. Wow. There's only one person walking. This is the whole Union Station. Here's another glimpse of the Scotiabank Arena and um, we're gonna go outside so we can uh, see and capture the front. So this place is just like totally dead. There's nobody walking here. Nobody, totally, totally shot. It's dead. Oh my gosh. Like, wow, I don't know. Look. 
Okay. Look at the place. Like there's nobody here. Totally, totally shot. Okay. We're gonna go further more. I'm looking for a washroom. I really need to pee. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so um, yeah, because of this pandemic, like there's no uh, people walking around, but this used to be a very busy station. This is uh, the major hub in Toronto, Canada. It's a major terminal as well. And from here, from this station, you can walk going to the Metro Toronto Convention Center, the CN Tower, the Ripley's Aquarium, and also around the uh, downtown metropolis. It's really a major station. Okay, let's have a glimpse of the bustling area, the city skylight, and now we're gonna go outside. So let's walk furthermore. Let's explore the area. We're gonna stroll around. Okay, so you see the uh, GO train here. The effect is interesting because the train looks like it's entering the building, eh? Look at that. Yeah, and that train is coming from the Union Station. There's GO train in there, there's Via Rail, there's Amtrak, and of course the Toronto Transit Commission, which is the TTC that uh, goes around the uh, downtown Toronto. Okay, for the last part of our tour, we're gonna go to the Scotiabank Arena, the home of the Toronto Raptors. Okay, let's go, folks. Okay, so the Scotiabank Arena, this is the home of the very famous Toronto Raptors, the number one team in Canada. Of course, they're the world champion, NBA champion, 2019. But before the Scotiabank Arena, their home court is the ACC, which is the Air Canada Centre. And then it was uh, relocated over here in this arena. It's a multi-purpose arena as well that hosts every major event, such as like concerts, everything. But we're not going there because we know that the place is closed so we'll just go back and check it some other time now this one is the uh, Fairmont Royal York Hotel this Royal York Hotel is the home of the royal family. It has been a resident of choice for Queen Elizabeth II and other members of the Canadian royal family when in Toronto. Elizabeth II first visited the Royal York Hotel during her 1951 royal tour of the country, accompanied by Prince Philip. Nobody is here. Like it's just like totally shot, it's dead. Ah. So not too sure when are they going to open this, but hopefully soon. Okay, let's walk furthermore. And I think we're going to end up this tour. Okay folks, so that concludes our short video tour for today. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell and click all so you get notified of all my video posting. Don't forget to like and share the video as well. Till then folks, take care, stay safe and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.